everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. I see these all the time on YouTube and I love them. They're personally one of my favorite videos to watch when I'm getting ready or when I'm like taking off my makeup at night or just, you know, any time of the day because I'm obsessed with YouTube and it's bad. So join me as I try to do makeup because I haven't worn it in a little while. I've been trying to let my skin breathe. As you can see, it's not doing the best right now, but you know, such is life. So um, let's do this together and see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm going to start with foundation because that's what I like to do first. So I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay. I've been using this for forever. As you can see, it's like been used. It's, much, it's very low, as you can see. But I like to mix that with, I keep turning around, I like to mix it with my um, Match Perfection Rimmel Concealer because I feel like this is just a little bit too dark for me and this kind of just lightens it up a bit. Plus it gives me a little bit more coverage to cover up like hyperpigmentation and whatever's, you know, popping up on the face at the moment. So I'm going to just mix these two together. And I kind of just mix them and like hope that it's the right color. Um, I think it is, but I'm not not positive so you know uh, if you see me looking over here it's because well, here it's because I have a mirror over here because I can't really do my makeup in the viewfinder I know some people on YouTube can but I'm not I'm not I can't I can't do that so we're not going to do that what are you gonna try let's put the foundation on um, I'm using a beauty well a fake beauty blender from Ulta this one's like five bucks and yeah, they're really cheap. So far, the summer has been really good. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about. I guess I could just talk about that. Uh, the summer's been good. I got out of school in, I want to say May, yeah, it was mid-May, or like close to mid-May. I'm really hoping that this is the right foundation color, that I mixed them well. I usually do my makeup in the bathroom. I just feel like my lighting in the bathroom is the best for me to do my makeup. But it's also kind of small, so I always have trouble filming in there. I'm going to bring some of that foundation down to your neck because what I've been told is, well, I mean, all the videos that I've watched on YouTube. Because you don't want to have your face and your neck be two different colors from your, you know, foundation and stuff. So you just want to blend that down. I think I blended it well. I don't know. I think it's blended pretty well. But, you know, oh, my hair, I, it's like drying, it's a little wet right now. Well, it's, it is basically wet right now. So if you see some like white stuff in there, it's just product because my hair needs moisture so badly. I leave in after I wash my hair if I'm going to do a, a wash and go to make sure that it keeps its moisture in there because my hair can get so dry, it's not even funny. So I feel like I have, since I have like hyperpigmentation and some acne going on, I'm going to go with a little bit more foundation um, to conceal those parts of my face. Get a little bit more foundation. <laughs> I'm such an old person. Okay, and mix that with the concealer again. I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use a smaller mirror because I can't really tell what's going on on this face right now. These lovely pimples. I feel like I did not have trouble with my skin like when most teenagers did. Um, I'm 20 now, but like when I was 15, I feel like my skin, I can look back at old YouTube videos too, I feel like my skin was not that bad. But ever since I hit 18, when I was, when I turned 18, I just felt my, feel like my skin just like, I don't even know what happened. It just like exploded on me. So I've been trying to find products that like help it and stuff. If you have any recommendations, that'd be great. Um, I feel like I'm always left with hyperpigmentation on my face, and I really, really don't like that. Um, I actually am getting a package. Oh, I should be getting a package today from Alta, and I bought probably a few too many um, skincare stuff. Um, to help my face out a little bit. Um, I hope they work. I'm not really sure. If you guys want me to do a skincare haul of what I got, I can. It pro I mean, to me, it felt like a lot of stuff because it ended up being like a little bit too much money, but it probably wasn't that much stuff, but I can still do a haul just to show you guys what I'm gonna try out. I'm really bad at this. I should be talking through this makeup that I'm doing. So I just put some concealer under my eye. That's what I just did. Now I'm gonna put some powder on my face. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, um, you guys know I like the Fit Me powder. It's the 
sun, 310 Sun Beige, and it's the Matte Poreless. I've been using it for probably like a year and a half or something um, now. I do want to try a new powder, but I just, you know, I'm really big on like once I like something, I just keep using it over and over again. But I really, really want to get into trying new stuff. So I might, I'm going to try to do that this summer. But I am a really oily person, <laughs> very, very oily, especially in my T-zone. So I like to put on a good amount of powder just because I know I'm going to get really oily throughout the day. And again, like just with my skin and stuff, I didn't start getting um, oily um, until I hurt, hurt, until I hit 18. So I don't really know what the deal is with that. I'm very confused. Don't blame it on the blue sky. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fill these brows in because they need they need some help, you know. I'm gonna brush them out first. I'm not good at talking and doing my makeup. Uh, gonna fill these puppies in. I feel like am I the only one that I just feel like when I do my brows and like I have a mirror that's like close up to them. In that mirror, they can look like so good, and I'm like, dang, I'm giving Cara Delevingne a run for her money. And then I look into like a bigger mirror or in the viewfinder, I'm like, what happened? But I think that looks so. Look, no, it's a little dark. Um, it looks interesting. I feel like a lot of people are doing um, the microblading thing right now, which I just can't. Okay, I think it's really cool if you're not afraid of. Um, needles or stuff near your face you know and you don't I guess I, don't, I guess you don't scar from it but um I just I can't I can't I can't I couldn't do it I'd go in and they'd probably be like are you ready I'd be like yeah and then they so they take out that little uh little needle scalpel thing I mean I've heard it doesn't hurt that bad but I just I'm squeamish I couldn't I couldn't do it I couldn't not even for my eyebrows I'm sorry but so many people have done it and their eyebrows look gorgeous. But I think I'll just stick to, ooh, my hair, filling them in for now, you know. Even though it is a pain. This brow, especially when I take, you know, if I decide to take my uh, bobby pin out of here, it gets covered up by my hair. So I'm like, you know, I don't really have to worry about this brow as much, you know. Anybody else do that? I don't know, maybe it's just me. This on my eyelashes. I don't know why I said eyelashes. Where else are they gonna go? I mean, where else is the mascara gonna go for my eyelashes? I could use mascara for other things actually. So, what am I, who am I to tell you how to use mascara? You use it, girl, for whatever you want to do. I don't have the longest eyelashes, um, but I do like. I don't have to curl them, so that's the only. That's the one thing I do appreciate about my eyelashes is they may not be long, but I never have to curl them. They're already, they're like pre-curled. I think I'm gonna do this, use this Tarte, um, it's like kinda like, it's supposed to be a bronzer, I'm pretty sure, but this, this, is, not, this is not gonna be a bronzer on me. So I think I'm gonna use it as like a highlight because it has some um, shimmeriness in it. I'm just gonna use the same brush that I use for my powder because I need to wash my brushes anyway. So I don't really mind mixing them today. I'm gonna wash them tonight probably. Hopefully. Um, so I'm just gonna, hopefully that looks good. I think that looks okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like 98% confident in this right now. That looks good. Uh-huh. Just want a little pop right there, you know? Ooh. Look at, yes. <laughs> I think that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna put all of it right here. Cause that's what I see girls do on YouTube. And it's supposed to look cute. Look right here. I do have a pimple right here, so I don't really want to highlight that, but that's okay. Um, I don't know where else they. I think they put it like down their nose, but I don't have a brush for that. Me trying to be a beauty guru right now is hilarious. Um, okay. I think I got a little too much on the nose, actually. Dang, girl, what were you? What were you trying to do? Look like a Wonder Woman in the Amazon. Ooh. Okay, now I feel the need to like even out <laughs> this side. I got real uh, highlighter happy. Okay, I feel like I evened it out. I think. <laughs> okay. Whew. 
So I don't really know what I want to do with my lip color. I'm trying to decide if I want to go bright or if I want to just do like a nice neutral, which is what I do a lot. Um, I think, oh, I got makeup all over my pants. Not my shirt though, I'm so proud of myself. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I think, I think I'm gonna go for, I'm trying, I don't know. I really, I don't, I can't tell. I can't tell what I wanna do. I don't know what I wanna do. This is a lip stain, so you know, once you make that commitment, it's very hard to, you know, get rid of. But then I could just go for Eva's Nude. Eva's Nude, I think. It looks like this. I really like this color, but it's like, it's very close. Why am I talking about putting lipstick on? It's very close to my... Who texted me? My natural... That's probably not a text. Uh, that's probably a notification. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a nude, as I always do. And then I think I'm going to put... Um, I saw Drew Barrymore do this on a Vogue video, and I like love her. So I think I'm going to put some of that lipstick on my cheeks for like a blush. And just go ahead and do that. Like a glow to the skin. Then using just a regular um, powder blush. Put a little bit more on the side. Yeah. I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and listening to me talk way too much. But I will see you guys very soon in another video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Make the most of your day. And be productive and be positive. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.